Hey Robo Buddies! So last week I made a video about some Bible buying basics for those of you who are interested in getting a Bible maybe for yourself or for others during this Christmas season. So this week I decided to take that video idea one step further and talk about different Bible studies that you can get that will help you dive more deeply into the Bible and be more excited to study God's Word. So let's get started! So I really enjoy Bible studying personally. It's probably my favorite hobby. I used to really struggle with reading the Bible and not really remembering what I read or being able to relate it to my life. And I really, really enjoy Bible studies because they help you look at the Bible in a different way. And they just really get you thinking about the Bible more critically, more deeply, and applying it to your life in ways that you never even knew were possible. My favorite Bible study author of all time is Beth Moore. Now, if you've never heard of Beth Moore, you definitely, definitely, definitely need to check her out. If you do a Beth Moore Bible study, you really, 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 really need to get the videos. The video sessions are what really, really, really makes Beth Moore such an incredible Bible study speaker and author because she just has such an incredible energy. Like, I guarantee you, you've never seen anybody speak like her. Um, she's from the South, so she has a thick Southern accent, she has really big hair, and she's so spazzy and energetic. She's like in her 50s too, so the fact that she's, you know, so energetic and over the top is just really, really fun. So I'm going to talk about some of the uh, small group women's studies that have video sessions that correspond to them. The first one is Beth Moore's Daniel. Now this was the first Beth Moore study I ever did, and it completely changed my view about Bible studying. The first half of Daniel, it, it, it's different than the later half of Daniel. The first half talks about um, just these different experiences that Daniel had while he was living in Babylon, whereas the second half of the book of Daniel talks about prophecy and talks about end times stuff, and it ties a lot into the book of Revelation. And she has these awesome pages for videos. The videos usually last about an hour, and um, these Bible studies typically have about five days of homework where you go and you dive into the Bible and you learn more about the concepts that she talked about in that week's video. And then what you do is if you do this in a um, small group session, you get together and before you watch the video, you go over the homework and discuss it. So Beth Moore's Daniel is a huge, it's like out of five stars, I give it five stars because it's just absolutely phenomenal. She also has this other Bible study called Here and Now, Then and There, which talks about the book of Revelation. So it ties a lot into Daniel as well. Um, what this one is, it's different because it doesn't have five days of homework. It has like a couple points to think on throughout the week. So um, this one is mainly video oriented. So again, if you do this one, you have to get the videos because it won't make sense otherwise. Um, but yeah, this one talks about what's going to happen at the end of the world, and um, that one's probably a 5 out of 5 as well. The third Beth Moore is Esther, and the subtitle for this one is It's Tough Being a Woman. This one, again, has five days of homework and a video session, um, but it dives deeply into the book of Esther. And each week has a different thing about how it's tough being a woman in another person's shadow, or it's tough being a woman in a mean world, or it's tough being a woman where beauty is a treatment. So it talks about all these different things that we as women have to live up to, and how, um, you know, really what we need to be focusing on is our identity in Christ instead of what the world wants us and expects us to be. So it's a really, really powerful study. Again, I give this one five stars. Beth Moore is just phenomenal. Do this one with the video um, just because she's just a brilliant speaker again. So Beth Moore also writes Bible studies that you can do in your own personal use that don't include videos. She has um, these 90-day series, like a 90, what is it, 90 days um, there's a personal reflection series, that's what these are called. Then they have questions and they have, you know, different readings that you can do and ways you can consider it and different portions. And this one is about David, so it's 90 days with a heart like his, um, which is very good. And this one is about Paul and it's 90 days on his journey of faith. I'd probably give David five out of five, um, but as far as Paul, I would probably give it, mm, maybe... A three out of five or a four out of five just because um, I really feel as though I don't know there's just so much about Paul in the Bible that trying to summarize it into 90 days is really really difficult so I mean I think I probably would have some wanted something that dived a little bit more deeper into who Paul really was the next person I want to talk about is Priscilla Shire Priscilla Shire is a lot like Beth Moore in that she makes videos with her workbooks and she has usually five days of homework with um, these different lessons that she does, 
But unlike Beth Moore, she's not nearly as spazzy and hyper and energetic. She's a lot more laid back and down to earth, but she is such an incredibly captivating speaker. I like Beth Moore because my mind operates the same way as her. My mind is constantly going on rapid fire. But Priscilla Shire, she calms me down and helps my brain to stop you know, going haywire. So Priscilla Shire is probably my second favorite Bible study author. This one is called Jonah, and it was brilliant. It's called Navigating a Life Interrupted, Jonah. And it talks about how, you know, whenever we experience different interruptions in our life that cause us to be like, oh, you know, really, I don't need this right now. You know, I'm already so incredibly busy. I don't want to take the time to stop and have to deal with this to change our perspective of those different interruptions and think of them as divine interventions, as God coming to us and saying, okay, you know, this is what I want you to do right now. This is how you can glorify me and help serve the kingdom. So Jonah, definitely a five out of five. The next Priscilla Shire is called Seeds. And this is uh, really, really cool because she has two different packs of seed Bible studies, and they're three weeks long, and these are completely different than any other Bible studies I've done. This helps you to stop and think and slow down and really dive deep into a single scripture and thinking about how it applies to your life and what God is saying to you just in, you know, these couple of verses, and it's just incredibly, incredibly powerful. So this is very, very good to get. Let's see, the next Bible study author that I want to talk about is Melody Carlson. Not only is she one of my favorite fiction authors, but she also writes incredible nonfiction books. She has these design series, which I really, really like. They're, um, the first one is Knowing God Better Than Ever. The second one is Finding Out Who You Really Are. The third one is Making the Most of Your Relationships. And the fourth one is Discovering a Forgiveness Plan. And these books are really cool because um, what she does is she mixes fiction elements with nonfiction elements. So she'll have questions and Bible verses about how to apply these different themes to your own life. But then she'll have a fictional story about a character who's going through these similar circumstances. Um... So these books are really, really cool. They're short books. They're easy. Um, I was a little bit disappointed with them um, just because I was expecting something deeper. Melly Carlson was probably a three out of five, maybe a two out of five, just because I'm too old to really get a lot of information out of them. But depending on how young you are, you'll probably think of it as a four out of five or a five out of five. To go off of the high school um, realm, there's also this thing called Her, and it's called Becoming a Proverbs 31 Girl. And um, if you saw my Dead Disco video, it talked a lot about Proverbs 31 and um, becoming a wife of noble character. I firmly believe that it's never too early to start prepping yourself and preparing yourself to be the kind of wife and the kind of mother that God wants you to be. And so this Bible study is really, really awesome because not only does it look cool and have all sorts of like, it has blue writing and fun pictures and like, it just looks really fun. Each week talks about a different element of the Proverbs 31 chapter. This is intended for high school, so it would probably work better um, for high school as opposed to middle school, but it could be done with either. And what's really cool too is not only does it have teaching plans um, if you're teaching this in a small group, but it also has teaching plans, like ways that you can do this Bible study with your mom, which is so super awesome because I feel like um, as girls get into middle school and high school they want to hang out with their moms less and less and they're embarrassed to be seen with their moms and interact with their moms and stuff like that and so um, what I like about this is that it's an awesome opportunity for mothers and daughters to bond and to talk about relationships and marriage and things that girls are probably embarrassed to talk about but want to know information about. I would probably give it a four out of five. So to go off of the whole wife of noble character, there are these two Bible studies by Kay Arthur. Um, one is called Return to the Garden, and it talks about discovering God's plan for sexuality. And this other one is called Building a Marriage That Really Works. Um, now, I really believe that you don't have to wait until you're married to start building a strong marriage. I think that, you know, we can start now, um, when we're unmarried, to try to see what God expects of us as wives and as mothers and things like that. And this Return to the Garden study talks, it, it's really cool, it's green and it just looks really pretty, and it dives deep into um, just how God intended for sex to be. The media tells people a completely different I don't know, view of what sex and marriage is supposed to be, and God has a completely different 
plan in mind for us. And sometimes we don't know God's plan because we're so consumed with what the media is trying to tell us. And so this is a great, great, great Bible study to dive into. If you don't know what God is saying about what sex is supposed to be like and what marriage is supposed to be like and what relationships are supposed to be like and all that stuff. Um, but she's definitely somebody that you should check out. I'm not personally, she's not one of my favorites, but it's definitely a neat experience to have. And building a marriage that really works. I think that's intended for small groups as well. Um, it doesn't have video sessions and you can get each one done in what is it it's like an, it says it's a no homework bible study so what you can do is you can get together with a small group and work on the questions together um, and discuss them as a group and I'd probably give this one since I already knew a lot of the concepts it really didn't stand out to me as an incredibly awesome bible study but it probably would for somebody who doesn't know these things so probably a maybe a two out of five or a three out of five. The next thing I want to talk about, this is probably one of my all-time favorite, 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 favorite Bible studies. Um, it's called Character Makeover, and it's by Katie Brazelton and Shelley Leaf. I talk about it in a couple of my other videos. It's just so phenomenal. So it talks about um, making of a right relationship to God, to yourself, to others, um, to things, and to your future. And it has awesome passages to read and journaling experiences and questions to answer and there are I think five days that you can go through and at the very end it even has like self quizzes and things like that and journaling passages so this is a five out of five definitely I definitely encourage you to get this especially if you don't have a small group um, but you want to start studying the Bible this is totally and completely the way to go like definitely it's it's next to Beth Moore's Daniel this is my favorite Bible study I've ever done the next one I want to talk about is Max Lucado these Bible studies um, are about different books in the New Testament. This one's about 1st, 2nd, 3rd John and Jude, and this one's about Romans. And what I like about these is that they're not geared towards girls, so guys and girls can do them. Max Lucado is a really, really awesome author, so if you're looking for something that you can do um, maybe with your boyfriend or with your husband or just with your friends, it doesn't have to be guys and girls, um, or if you're just a guy and you're looking for a Bible study, these are really the way to go. He has one for, I think, every single book of the New Testament. Probably maybe a 3 out of 5 or a 4 out of 5. And lastly, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of this devotional book that my pastor got me a couple years ago. What is it? It's called, I think walk with God and it's by Chris Tigreen. It's really cool because they have a different reading for each day of the year. They have um, like a Bible passage that you can read, a verse that is the main focus, a quote that relates to that Bible passage, and then it has diving into the Bible passage and how you can apply it to your life. And this, the guy who writes this, he's just a really, really, he has such an incredible way with words and helps you to just look at um, these Bible passages in a different way and make them more relatable. So this is definitely a five out of five. Last week I had a giveaway in the Bible buying basics video and I was going to give away this Bible promise book. So the winner of the Bible promise book is listed right here. I don't know how to pronounce their name mainly because I haven't picked them out yet. So congratulations on winning the book. Um, if you can send me a message with your address I will send this right out to you. This week I'm going to have another giveaway and I am going to give away one of the design series by Melody Carlson. This one's Knowing God Better Than Ever. It's the first one in the series. And I also want to give away a copy of her becoming a Proverbs 31 girl. So again, these are really, really awesome Bible studies, and I want to give away both of these, one to one person, one to another person. So in order to win these, either for yourself or maybe for your sister or for a daughter or for a friend, all you got to do is leave a comment below, say which one you're interested in, and say either um, what your favorite Bible study is or which Bible study from this video looks interesting to you or maybe even like fears that you have about Bible study. Maybe you've never Bible studied before and you don't even know where to begin or you just think it's going to be really boring or just what are your thoughts on Bible study? I guess that's what I'm saying um, to leave a comment below as. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Next week's video is going to continue this uh, whole Christmas gift guide series. So stay tuned for that next Monday. And I hope you guys all have a spiffy week. Thanks. Ciao. <laughs> Quick side note, I actually based my outfit around this necklace, and then I discovered that I forgot to wear the necklace in the video. So I just wanted to do a quick clip of showing you guys what this necklace looks like. It's actually from Burkina Faso, Africa. Um, my sister-in-law is from there, and my brother and mom and sister-in-law went down there for Christmas last year. And um, so I got this necklace um, from them, and yeah, it's pretty spiffy, matches my outfit a lot, and... I wanted to wear it in the video and then I didn't, so oops.